Welcome my friends, welcome to another aimless adventure coming to you from St. Petersburg, Florida today. You can see behind my cranial lobe, there's another cranial lobe. And if we put those two together, that can mean only one thing. Tampa Bay Rays opening game, opening day, 2023. Just down the street right there, yep. Meeting up with some friends, gonna have a good time and hopefully a Rays win. So I think it's time we explore more. Let's do it. Welcome to Tropicana Field. Good times, great friends, and raise up. Here in the rotunda, we've got Wade Boggs, Don Zimmer, and Carl Crawford, who they are going to celebrate here in just a couple days. I believe tomorrow, uh, Don Zimmer will be honored, and they have a bobblehead they're giving away of Zimmerman's face on a teddy bear. We've got some familiar faces joining us today. Of course, we have Spore and Ryan. We got the back of Jay's head. Or actually, now it's the back, of, the back. It's a, it's no, a back of Adam's head. It's the back of Adam's head now. We got Micah. We, just got, in. we got Jordan the lion, and he is hiding his, his lady. She's back there. Yeah, we got quite quite the ensemble here for opening day, 2023. Oh, sorry. We are deep in the world of Ray's merch here inside the shop. Anything and everything you can think of is here because it's opening day, so there's going to be plenty of it. Whether you're wanting the baby blues, the classic white. Or my personal throwback favorite, the black. Oh, they also have the OG in a white. I think I found my favorite shocker, right? Check out the sweet hat tip to Wade Boggs and Fred McGriff. There's also some leftover St. Patty's. <laughs> There's also some leftover St. Patty's action. I saw these Orlando Rays shirts online on Rays Republic, as well as the black hats. Looks like they've also got it in white, but I picked up one of the black ones online. I had no idea they'd have them here. Didn't want a chance not getting one. There is definitely some Rays upping going on. That's pretty cool. They got a nice little throwback here on the side. That's pretty slick. 25 years. That's what we're celebrating here. Lid Orama. Twenty-five years ago. Twenty-five years later. Big Randy head! Woo! Welcome back, y'all. 73 degrees in here. Your temperature may vary. And from what I heard, it's sold out. Doesn't look like it yet, but there's a crap ton of people still filing in. It's good to see that tasty orange up there again. I'm a bit parched, but I've been laying low on the sugar of all varieties, so we'll keep that going, I think. Hey, I was like, this gentleman here talking to Adam, he's got a nice Durham Bulls cap on and a very yellow cape and tights. Don't know what his superhero name is, but there you go. You're welcome. Part of opening day ceremonies is going to be this absolutely massive U.S. flag. Very, very cool.
his way to the field for the first time in 2023, as well as Mr. Esau Parade. It's really cool that they've got the lights going over there, the smoke, the lightning, all of it. Pretty cool. Haven't seen baseball do this before. This is nice. A nice touch for opening day 2023. Outfielder Jose Siri, who I have dubbed the Flash because the man just steals bases. And today's starting pitcher, Shane McClanahan, who brings the heat. Quite an entrance. Cool. The Tampa Bay Rays are deeply saddened by the passing of Dave Williams, Rays radio broadcaster in the past 18 years, passed away on March 5th at the age of 58. During his time with the Rays, Williams became the beloved figure among fans. Passion, enthusiasm, and expertise. He calls some of the most memorable moments in race history, including the team's run to the World Series in 2008 and 2020. Never be forgotten. Please join us now in the world of silence in his memory. First pitch, but it was a strike. Make it two. Woo! Sugar Shane retires the first batter for Detroit. First batter for the Rays. That looks like it's going to be a pop fly four and out. Next will be Wonder Franco. First at bat of the year. That's how you start a season right there. Keep it Wonder up. Franco first at bat, and he's on base. That first hit of the year for Tampa Bay Rays was Wonder Franco, fielded by Mr. Meadows, a former Ray. Sitting here in the a Rose Arena section, and Randy Rose Arena is up. First bat, 2023. Randy would uh, very much like to donate a ball to the Randy Ruiz Arena section over here in left field. And we'll be happy to receive said gift. You can see the new pitch count down to seven, six, five. Just wait until the last minute. There's a nice hit, baby. Oh! Meadows snatches it up, robbing former Ray teammate Randy Rosarina. Full count, Sugar Sheen looking to bring the heat. Shut this show down. Another foul ball. Boom. Sugar Sheen mowed him down, baby. Woo! Ray's about to take second at bat. End of the attendance is very good today. Solid opening day attendance. 
Meadows, former Ray, Mr. Meadows, coming over to say hey to the crowd. Jose Siri now up to bat. It looks like Meadows has shifted over from his far left field position. competition going here so you can bust a proverbial move with more swank and swagger I don't know what that was I think Detroit has got some kind of intestinal issue going on I'm pretty sure he's he's got something going on in the tummy Different championship banners are hung all through the hallways here, but they also have a couple of rooms set up with some OG stuff and some legendary stuff from teams of the past. There's Brett Phillips with that memorable flight around the bases. And rookie Randy. America League Championship as well as the 2020 American League Championship trophy. Game used base 2020 World Series against the Dodgers. Dodgers and the Rays. A couple from the AL DS against both Houston and the Yankees. And a game used baseball from the 2008 ALCS as well, and a very sweet ring. Carlos Pena's first base mitt as well. Yandy Diaz at bat. Tigers bullpen did a little bit of shuffling over there. It really makes more sense in basketball. <laughs> Three and one count to Yandy. And he's about to take a complimentary base. Juan Franco, one and one the count to Yandi at first. That's a two and one count. Potential back-to-back -back walks for Detroit. Oh, it is coming. Wander Franco with that pop fly. Meadows with the catch right in front of us. Isak Paredes taking a ball. Still waiting to see if Meadows will throw a ball up to his former team's crowd right here. We've definitely given him the clap and the good welcoming. Brady's with a nice chopper. That activity we saw on the Detroit bullpen side has now come to fruition. And they're gonna have a pitching change. The Rose Arena zone is rocking. Let's see if Randy's about to do some knocking. Slicer by a rose. 
Eagles Arena, Detroit, has had themselves yet another powwow on the mound. Two nothing Rays here in the sixth. That's a pretty sweet all blacked out a Rose Arena jersey dude has on right there. If you're ever wondering yourself, self, do I still have enough to bust proverbial moves? This dude right here is the inspiration to keep your roots. past the old Budweiser zone. <laughs> Meanwhile, TW is still up the bat. Will it continue? Foul ball and the wave. Making it second pass. Bring it in. It's party. Stretch them legs. Watch how fast it moves around that corner. Bring back Taylor with a chopper to second. Retire inside. The Randy chant is going. Got that Randy chant.
bring in the heat. Gonna shut this thing down here in the eighth. Cowbell Max is ready to party. Hear him out there. Oh, center field. Three. Crowd wanting that to be a strike. You can see that clock batter's got to be in there about seven seconds. That bad boy is up there. Crazy eyes. Three two count to Isak Paredes. We're trying to figure out who's coming in in the ninth for the Rays. Could be crazy eyes. So a little chopper. And he's out. Oh my goodness. It looked pretty. It looked pretty coming off the bat. Crazy Eyes is on the mound. Interesting with this new clock, how uh, how it's going to affect pitchers like Fairbanks, who has a whole routine when he's out there. Um, a little rocking motion, it like, like a, it was a wild pitch, and maybe that's a more about breaking the catcher. The pass came out, and they're walking out to the mound. Maybe they, uh, maybe they're having a little discussion. It was like pass Bethany Moore and Pete Fairbanks was on the mound, and Randy's over here, he's kind of waving to everyone. Kind of, uh, Nothing for it may have been shaken up by that pitch from Fairbanks. There it is. There's the move. Randy's just out here enjoying the fan club that we got going on. Fairbanks is doing a little, a little apologizing to Bethancourt for, for that last pitch, but it looks like he's okay and looks like this party's about to take off again. Pitch the horses to the wagon. There is a veritable cornucopia of carnage down there from uh, Adam's peanut assault. Current time, 522. Two hours and 12 minutes of game going on. It's about to end. Two hours and 12? Two hours and 12 minutes. Damn, this it. has been a very fast game with the new rule changes. We're at two hours and 12 minutes, and we're sitting three strikes away from the game ending. We could be seeing a game end in two hours and 20 minutes or less.
seems to be very pleased with the results. Raymond's enjoying the victory out there. I'm not sure how he's going to be celebrating. I have a feeling maybe with a few... Well, he's a dog, so I guess he could eat pretty much anything. It's always good to see that. There's your final. Four nothing raise, six hits apiece, no errors, a clan of hand with the win. The inside of the trop is lit up orange, which is signaling the victory. Normally I'd show this from the outside, but uh, a two hour and less than 20 minute game, it's still daylight. We have a an imposter DJ Kitty. Hey, do you have the dance moves though? We know you got the look. Do you have the dance moves? There we go. All right. Hop up on the dugout, man. See you, DJ Kitty imposter. Well, well, well. This we got a first Micah. W. How I, does it do? How does it do? And I heard the bell doing its thing over here. I like the, and the, ring the tribute Orlando hat. Yeah, I'm digging the, it. The OG. What'd you think of that? What'd you think of that grab, man? Dude, like Adam said, that Manny grab potentially could have saved the game for us, man. If that gets down, they tie the game there, it could be a completely different game. So. Let's let's be honest, that grab did change the game. That's a game changing <laughs> play, man. That was huge, as they say. Huge! Not only are fans celebrating the victory of the Rays home opener here in 2023, but they're celebrating selfies with DJ Kitty, who is probably just as popular as a Rosarina at this point, I'm thinking. That was a fast game. Rays win. That was awesome. Very exciting. Very exciting game. I I loved it. It's just weird to be getting out so early. I mean, the sun hasn't even dipped below the trop yet. Weird. Well, that's going to do it from this one. A beautiful sunset over Tampa Bay to end a beautiful day. Good time with great friends and an opening day win for the Rays. That's a pretty good day in my book. Until next time, love your neighbors as you love yourself, and Lord willing, 